Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Bryce from Future Dove and I'm going to share you my journey and story about my life in the Norwegian cabin. So I wanted to get out of Oslo city and go into the Norwegian nature. I've always heard that the cabin life is a very special thing in Norway so I thought why not give it a try. I had a friend that lived up north in Valderes and I was like well let's go on a little cabin trip and experience what it's like to live like a Norwegian. Why I did this? I wanted to get out of the city like I said. I wanted to get a fresh breath of air and experience what it's like to be minimalistic. I've also heard the nature up in uh, Valderes is amazing so I thought let's check it out and see what's going up in Valderes. I had to take a bus about three hours northwest. What really stood out on the bus trip was that the, the scenery around was amazing. Like you had a beautiful mountains and snow on the top of them and rivers flowing like the trees are very lush and colorful after taking the bus we had to get to this little town and then take a taxi up into the woods again to get to the peak of the mountain and we arrived at this beautiful little red cabin now what's funny is this as soon as we put our bags inside and like unpacked we oh, fucking so as soon as we arrived to the cabin we had to unpack all our gear and then straight away we had to pump our own water there was no like filter system like showers that we have here or you turn on the tap and water comes out. Basically you had to pump your own water and the amount of water that you wanted you had to pump. So it was a little bit frustrating but funny. So I had to put on the snow, the snowshoes. You had to take this bucket and like carry it down through the snow and then tip it into a tank which you would use for later on. So you had to fill up a certain amount of buckets. We had one for like hot water where we had like boiler continuously going. So when you walked into the bathroom it was basically like a sauna because this boiler is continuously running to keep the water like warm. Then we had to fill up little buckets for, for example, when you're washing up the dishes, for when you're hand washing, certain little like buckets you had to keep around just in case you needed some cold water like to fill up your water bottle or if you wanted to have a shower so you could keep it like in a nice temperature you'd pour like a bit of cold water into the warm water bucket that you used to use for a shower you might be thinking what did we do up in this little norwegian cabin well first of all like you're on the top of the hill so the atmosphere around it is amazing and the location is like perfect you just look outside the cabin window and you have this beautiful mountains like surrounding the place with snow on the peaks when we had clear skies it was amazing the scenery because you could see so far and the mountains covered so vast areas the first thing we would probably do was go hiking or I didn't have the necessary hiking shoes I thought it'd be quite warm and the snow had melted so we could only stay on the directed paths but um, most of the time people can go cross-country skiing up into the mountains I know my friends normally do that and they normally head up onto the peaks of those mountains there at Valderes but for now we could just only walk but the walk itself was amazing and the scenery is so beautiful. You had frozen lakes, you had mountains so tall. If it's sun out, of course we relax in the sun. We just sit there for hours just enjoying the sun because in Oslo in the winter, it's pretty harsh. So when you get a little bit of sun, you make the most of it. And we all need that vitamin D. So, you know, we enjoyed a little bit of sunshine, a little bit of rays on the face and just kick back and relax. We normally sit, in, sit inside, and set up the fireplace so you'd have like a nice cozy time. Normally you could make like some hot chocolate, a cup of tea, sit by the fire, have a read. I also, when I was up there, wanted to make my own beanie. So I needed my own beanie. When we went there, we played a lot of chess. Like I'm pretty addicted to chess now. It's really, really fun. And especially if you're winning. So nice when you cook a meal, you sit by the fire, you know, have a read, relax. You know, you don't have to think too much and just enjoy the little moments. And then, especially when the sun sets so late here, so you'd wind down like, you know, 11 o'clock at night and the sun's just starting to set. So you'd have like this amazing sunset at 11 o'clock and you, nothing better than sitting by the fire and just watching the sun set through the cabin windows. It's really, really a beautiful sight. And what else we did there was basically cook and eat food. Like there was a ton of milk chocolate, red wine, you know, cooking like pastas, pizza, keeping it simple and just enjoying like, you know, the nice moments in life. So some of the pros that I had there was that like, it was very simplistic. You didn't have to think too much, you know, it was a stress-free life. you like, the only thing you have to do is just wake up, enjoy the nature, go for a walk, play some chess, live a simple life. 
Also, what I really liked about it is like the people that I was there with, I really got to connect with like on another level. I believe when, you know, you live in out in Oslo, there's so many distractions and people are always distracted in life. But out there, you can really have a great talk to someone and enjoy a good chat. Like, I think that's an important aspect of life that you reconnect with the people that are around you. I believe when I was there, my conversations were so much more rich and, you know, you actually really think about what you say. You don't look at your phone every 10 seconds like a lot of people do here if the conversation is going dry. A lot of time people pull out their phone to just distract themselves from the awkwardness. But I think like when you're out there, you really get to like think about what you say and there is awkward silences and that's okay. It's, it's good fun to like talk and chat, you know, you don't have to be chatting the whole time and it's good time to be able to connect with people. The atmosphere and the location was amazing. Like I said, the mountains surrounding the cabin were beautiful and you had the peaks with like these beautiful like white snow patches on top of the mountains and then surrounding was like this beautiful nature, you know, lots of trees were blossoming now because of the spring. It's something about being up in the woods, you know, all by yourself, away from distractions from society. It's much more quieter, the air's cleaner. And when you're out there, you feel like this like fresh breath of life coming into you. And what I also liked was like not much technology there, you know, you had to, you know, think of things to do, get creative, whatever it be drawing or writing, reading, playing chess like we did. Or for me, I was knitting a lot and I don't knit at all, but you know, I wanted something to do and I always wanted to make my own homemade like thread. And I thought like a beanie would be a great thing to, to make while I was there and I had enough time to do it, so I was there learning how to knit. What I also liked about this, the pros was that you, you build a lot of brain power, whether it be you're learning through reading, or you might be writing, journaling, meditating, walking in nature. The feeling of just walking in nature is really good for your brain, and you know, you get that fresh breath of air and be able to do things that you probably wouldn't normally do. Some of the cons was that you basically have to hand wash everything there's no like dishwasher or any of this kind of stuff or laundry you can't do any of that if you if you think if something's dirty and you want to wash it you gotta like scrub it pour some water on wipe it down the old good old fashioned way the toilet so basically you had dunny that just like flushed you know you just sit in this like hole and the your number twos and ones just go straight down into this like little hole and then when you go in there, like, because it was pretty cold, so you're basically sitting on an ice block. So you sit on this ice block, you're doing your like number two or your one, just drops down into like, I don't even know what is down there. And then when you finish, you pour in like this, like hay or grass stuff all over the top of it. And it smells pretty bad. And I can imagine summer when there's like heaps of flies, mate. The flies would just stick to the windows or just like, it's pretty scary just open up this thing and you like don't know what's down there and I imagine if I'm sitting there I've got like a few like mosquitoes coming up or flies in my you know what and I, yeah it was pretty weird but I know it's something a part about living out in the countryside it's pretty funny to just do it but you just want to get in and out it's not like in Oslo where I can just sit here and enjoy life you know watch a video and do my business Another thing that, another con was like pumping your own water. Basically any water that you wanted, you had to go to the, the bore water pump and just pump all your water out. And it's not like here you turn on the tap or you turn on the shower head and you got water just running straight out. There was a few times when I would be like turning on the, the tap and I'm like, ah oh, shit, there's no water there. So it was, a, it was pretty, uh, Annoying, but I mean it makes you appreciate the things when you get home like that the Sunday evening when I arrived like geez It was so good having a shower. I could just have a shower as long as I want In Norway and then like using the tap you don't have to pump any water So maybe a lot of other Norwegians don't have this like water pump But I think it makes you appreciate the things you have when you get home and it was very very funny and very interesting to try out Another thing was the showers. So basically you had this You had to keep the water boiler on the whole time and you turn on the tap and all the hot, like boiling hot water would go into a big bucket. And then you had to like put in cold water as well at the same time to like get the right temperature. And then you stick in this like little like pipe sucky thing that would pick up like all the water and go through the drain and come out. 
and give you a shower. So normally showers would last like a minute. So you have to make the most of it. And also you have to get the right temperature as well. There is no like fixing the switch to get like this perfect temperature. You have to like make it through like hot and cold water. Like I said, it was an experience and something that I appreciate when I go home. We do take things for granted out, out here in the city and you know, it's, it's good to live a little bit simplistic and enjoy, you know, the times that you have here and make you really think about like, oh yeah, I had to do this and that. In general, it's, it's good fun to experience. So I definitely just do for like a weekend or a week away. It's really nice to get a fresh breath of air, enjoy the nature, go on hikes, throw a cross country ski or a, a snowboard trip around the mountains there and you do live very simplistic and you don't have a lot of technology distracting you so there is no like playstation or netflix or any of these things it's just enjoying the simple things in life and i think that's what you know a lot of norwegians when they do go on the cabin trips they're looking for those experiences and trying to get a break from society and the busyness in their lives so I can definitely relate to a lot, why a lot of Norwegians have these cabins up in the woods, like summer cabins, winter cabins. And my experience was a really enjoyable one and definitely one I would remember. And I think that I would definitely want to do it again in the future. It was a really good time and I learned a lot about living simplistic and how people probably lived about 100 years ago. Yeah, I definitely recommend it for people. If you have any friends or family or Norwegians listening, they probably have their own cabins. like. Try and get there as much as you can in this period, especially now, and enjoy the the times when you do have technology around you because when you go away, you really appreciate the things you have around you, like hot water, turning on the taps. Like, it's so easy to do, and I think everyone should, you know, at least try it once a time in their life. If you haven't been on a cabin trip, you definitely should try it, especially if you go to a beautiful place like the Norwegian woods. And the mountains there and the scenery is amazing so definitely check it out thank you guys for watching my video and i really really appreciate you um checking in and joining my journey on my norwegian uh, cabin experience i had a lovely time up in the woods and i definitely recommend it to, to everyone to try